today. From St. Louis, Missouri, it's week 18 of the NFL on EA Sports. Chicago Bears. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up with the Chicago Bears. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. They come in off a loss last time out, but they've been playing better than 500 ball the last couple months. Five wins in their last eight games. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Bears, they come in off another victory a weekend ago. That ran their win streak up to seven now. And I think that win last week established them as Super Bowl frontrunners. They're playing with confidence and swagger, and you need that to go a long way. So here come the Patriots now to take over on offense and they'll be let out by the man running the show Charles their quarterback would you say that last week's performance by him workman like in terms yeah. of numbers one touchdown one pick but obviously a loss yeah and that's the bottom line for him all he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Coming up on second and seven. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They hand this off to Harris. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. They'll give to Harris. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Now we're going to get a stoppage. So it appears to be an injured bear on the field. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And yeah, the Patriots are going to be... Set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves him all the way down to the one. And oftentimes we think about statement drives in the second halves of games, especially in the fourth quarter. But here, it's happening early. A definite... And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Damian Harris with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. So here now the Bears offense for their first drive of the game. 
They'll be led out by a first round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. I guess we have to nickname him the thrower, aren't we? Or something After like that. After last week. I mean, man, you're talking about over 400 yards throwing the ball. The running backs and everyone else may be looking at him like, hey, don't forget us. <laughs> and he'd probably just tell him, listen, you want to get involved? Go out. Go out and catch some passes. I'll make sure you touch it. down gets him a yard to the 26. Defensively here you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL so when they're that high powered you've got to find a way to hold them under 20 because to me that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30 they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout and that means your offense has to keep pace. Six yards is the pickup and that'll lead to a third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So if they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Complete to Mooney on the slant. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, Fields. It's a loss of 14 that time. And it'll make this a second and long. <laughs> to throw his fields. Open man is commit the tight end. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. That coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting into the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down try so far on this drive. A shotgun snap, Fields. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Out of the gun, Fields. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. A very costly sack there on third and goal. Pushes him back big time. And now you figure the field goal team coming on on fourth. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Fields. That's complete to Robinson. A nice job to get 11 out of that pass play, but now they face a third and goal. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Now Fields on third and goal. He's gonna go down. He 
sack back to the 24. A gigantic sack on third and goal. A loss of 12. They're in the top five in sacks in the league coming into this one. That's their third one in this game. Obviously, pass rush has been a strength of this team all year long. And apparently, they're not satisfied with top five. They want to climb that ladder. Yeah, I think it goes back to their offseason. They decide to make it a priority, and it's working out. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice, steady gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They run with Harris. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. On the give, this is Dallas. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Complete, Hunter Henry with a grab. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. On first and 10, Burns. He completes it to Henry. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Patriots add on to their lead. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Now the Bears going to take over now late in this first half. And they've got just over 50 seconds to go till halftime, so they can try to put something together if they want. On first down, it's Fields. He finds his man complete. That's Bishop. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. And, oh, this is Beckham remaining down on the ground. And apparently in some pain. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half, it might provide a psychological boost. Meanwhile, Fields throw complete here to commit. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. 
as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. A play fake now fields to throw. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Again, Fields. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin in the NFC South. Tampa Bay paying their yearly visit to Atlanta. And that one finds the Falcons out in front. The Falcons trying to finish that one off and claim victory. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they were losers in that one to the visiting New York Giants. The Cowboys finish off a dreadful campaign with another loss. They could muster just one win all season, one and 16 as they get ready for big changes ahead. Finally, let's get you to Baltimore. Check on the Ravens at home at M&T Bank Stadium. And for the moment, they find themselves trailing the visiting Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Burrow has thrown a touchdown pass. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half for the answer? We turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Here comes Justin Fields and the rest of the Bears offense. He's playing pretty well. I don't think it's necessarily him changing up something he's doing, but that old line, they've got to protect him better. They do. They've got to make sure that they give him more than enough time in order to find targets downfield. And sometimes what happens when these things are going on is that the, the field general will step up and say, hey, that's on me, guys. I didn't get rid of it fast enough. Anything to try and relax them a little bit and take some pressure off because they do know that they are trying. Yeah, well, we've seen the four sacks so far in this contest. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go-around, they want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it, and they've run it well here to start the second half. couple of first downs right in succession and this is an offense that can really use a good drive and they're off to a fast start here. Fields on first down. He'll get that complete to his tight end connect. And he'll go down but not before getting this inside the 30. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. 
this is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And yeah, he's got Moody in the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Darnell Mooney, touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Bears have cut it to within a score. It's caught at the one. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And they're going to speed things up here. They'll run on first down. It's Harris. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A quick throw there out to Williams. So first and ten now from the 30. This out quickly to Williams. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And quickly they get to the line. To the outside, that's complete to Williams. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Now Harris. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Williams. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. On third down, here's Harris. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They'll try to run with Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Damian Harris. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Extra point splits the uprights, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. The Bears on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and five. Back to throw. Fields. Throw left side complete. That's Bishop. Touchdown, Chicago. A big play there. Sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bears have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. 
extra point right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From the six. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down, now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack, or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right, but I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. On third down, it's Harris, and he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. And now they're in the hurry-up. It's complete to Williams. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. On first down, it's Harris. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. They'll run again with Harris. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They'll run on first down. It's Harris. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Got his man. It's Williams. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And a nice pick up there as he'll take it from the 10 down to the five-yard line. The battle in the trenches is never more important than right now. This is third and in inches. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal as they search for what could be a game. And this is caught, and that could seal it. It's a touchdown. It would be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Kick it away after the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Charles, this one not over, certainly, but you set the magic number earlier in this game at 20 points, said that they would need to hold them right around that marker under it. And what, what are you seeing here? Well, that, that number is still in play because we said, okay, 20 or under gives them a chance to win right on pace for being in that range. And guess what? They've got a shot. On first and 10, here's Fields. He's got Mooney. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. The Bears moving hastily in the hurry up offense. Now he dumps this off over the middle. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Here's Fields. 
Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Bishop. Fields going to hurry his guys to the line. Throwing again is Fields. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now it's Fields. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Here's second and five now from the 37. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. To throw again on second down. Fields. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Now a first down throw. Fields. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off with great anticipation. And the Patriots are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. Well, obviously, Charles, this stage of the game, down two scores, they had to put the football in the air. Unfortunately, it gets picked off. And the criticism comes easily in situations like this, but you just laid it out. Look where they are on the scoreboard. Look at where the clock is in the game. He has to take a chance here and try and get the ball downfield to his receivers. Unfortunately, it was picked off. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And caught by Henry. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40 yard line. So plenty of smiles for the folks here as they head for the exits. It's a victory for their hometown guys, and they've got to feel good about this performance. I think you'd agree, matched up against a top five defensive unit in the league, and they pretty much had their way. Yeah, that was, that was the interesting part about it because normally when we see this defense play, they have their opportunities, and they make their plays, don't they? They knock them back on their heels. They take the ball away. They, they change field position. In this case, what you said is so apt. They had their way with them, took it to them, and knocked them back on their heels and surprised the heck out of them. So for the home team here, they get yet another victory to finish the year at 14-3 and three overall. And now they'll have the week off as they get set to go after a Super Bowl title. Meanwhile, for the Bears, they had bigger things on their mind, apparently, the playoffs. <laughs>